Greetings, salutations, and welcome to the introduction to Yog sothoth master of magic and all things miraculous. Let's go ahead and pull up our deck for him. So, Madness, I've actually decided that we're going to be playing Mania. And I've got a good reason for playing Mania, even though it could potentially be the best Madness for you to run for your opponent. And the answer is Annihilation. We're running Annihilation, destroy all creatures. If, uh, if my early creatures go insane and, uh, let's just say they can flood the board because they've got a bunch of cheap creatures, it'd be a, be a shame if that board then got nuked. And so that's the theory. We run a keyword shenanigan deck, and knowing our creatures are going to go insane is the purpose we're running Mania. I want to reduce, I want to bait our opponent out into a board that we can then clear. I've opted not to run Trail of Dreams in this one because I felt guilty about running it in the Cthulhu deck when it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to uh, only be humans, eventually. If I were to rework this to run Trail of Dreams, I would pull out both Comet Shards. I would pull out... Oh, what else would I pull out? Probably one Hyrian Parasite and one Purple Bastula. And that would get us to where we want to be. I like Purple Bastula because it's kind of a guard card that can replicate more guards, which is nifty. But this is the deck as it stands and should be legit. I don't know if Kenzie is going to end up being human only, and I don't know about Detective either. I mean, we don't know about all the cards. It's still a demo trial, and it's glorious. So, Yogg-Sothoth. We'll show off his game ability once we get into game. So, what are Yogg-Sothoth's powers? Let's go ahead and do our opening mulligan, then I'll show him off. Ooh, that's a good one to show off, and, uh, yeah, I think we'll throw those back. We'll keep Detective in color. Oh, we already found our Annihilation. Easy. So yogg Thoth's passive ability, your events cost one less. So you'll see Annihilation, four instead of five. Change of color, zero instead of one. Then his active is create a copy of an enchanged creature. So if we enchange... Say a Hyrian Parasite, we just draw another Parasite. What we're looking for is a purple beast. I'll keep the Druid. Also, already having a Annihilation on board, it wouldn't bother me if he flooded the board early. I do want to avoid him getting a blood bag value, but I guess not super much. We'll grab Herbert West, because that should give me a gift. Nope, that part of the game bugged out. So that was supposed to give me a 2-3 body that I was going to put in front here. Who is here? Show yourself. Stay away from me. Or let's go ahead and just draw a card. All right, let's go ahead and annihilation this board off. We're already overdrawing. The next turn, we'll start playing the parasites. They come down with armor, so it's not terrible. They should be able to hold it for a little bit. So it's a little bit of a slow creature deck. Right, I'm going to play out another Parasite to oppose. Take the trade here. I'm not in changing at the moment because I don't need to grab adjacent keywords. Alright, what can I get for keywords? Not really anything. Give you a pistol. Shoot there. Maybe just fire off a color there. Lethal? Beautiful. See what else you roll? Insignificant? Well, that'll at least help with our uh, insanity. We're at one, so I'll go ahead and play that guy. Show yourself. So our creatures will automatically enchange now. Who is here? 
Stay Show away yourself. from me. This guy's gonna get insignificant and um, lethal as soon as he comes down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play you here, sack that, give the health here, and now you've got suppression as well. Who is here? I'm saving this cult to deal with the rat when Kenzia dies. What did that guy do to you? Stay away from me. Now they both happen to have suppression. So we can attack with the back one first. Just give this to you, get your attack up one. I was like, you should kin across there to get up to six. We're gonna push ten damage face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and draw us another parasite. Cause another uh three six armored creature will be a very good guard over here in this lane. Alright, that was a good hit to get rid of our suppression. One off of lethal. What are we going to do? I think we're going to draw and play the six cost. Then just keep our health up here so we can't grenade past it. You cannot imagine what I got through. We're doing a pretty good, pretty good job. These guys are really good at holding the line. What with their 6 health, keyword sharing, and then early armor. I don't have non-Euclidean, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to play a non-Euclidean creature down. Oh, I, we can just steal that. Aha! I saw that. I saw that from the very beginning. There was, there was no debate. Easy win. We'll go into game 2. Because we didn't get to do a whole lot of uh, keyword shenanigans there. I mean, the deck did what it was supposed to. Control the early game, then annihilation everything off once they've filled the board, then start playing big creatures that are hard to remove. These are two really good openers between Tracker and Detective because they allow us to cycle. What we're looking for early is an annihilation. All right, on four, sure, let's cycle. Uh, the Corrupted Spawn's the better pull here. Shame we're a little bit of Magicka off of using it. Stay away from me! I'm gonna sack that in and then just throw a Miserable Detective there. Show yourself. Grenade, we pull the Dark Druid. Colt to clear. Alright, he's still on board, but we've got a Colt to uh, answer. Maybe I'll throw Kenzia down to answer, because I get the rat as a last gasp. Yeah, I can't steal that. So we lose the steal, but I think that's okay. All right, now that you're down to six, I think we're gonna open with you. I wanna save change of color for Purple Beast next turn. Because my theory is I can pull non-Euclidean off of her. Oh. So opponent used the bug where she can actually steal anything. All right, so let's play you and then we're gonna in change. We will throw Dark Druid down. 
I could take the trade there. He rolled charge. I wish I had known that before I uh, traded health. We'll have to pass. Alright, so I've got the cover here on the beast. I need to play out multiple creatures. But you can go here. You can go here. We have the suppression. Oh, looks like what I had seen previously might have been a bug, because now I'm able to, unless you're indescribable. No, you're beast. Uh, earlier, when I had done the uh, keywords, I said you couldn't buff like this. And you couldn't at the time, because I had tested it. But that test must have been the result of a bug. Who is here? Show yourself. Alright, fair bit of cheapness going around. Because we kind of drove everybody insane there. I'm going to throw you here, put a change of color on that. Now you've picked up lethal as well. Should use the colt, but I don't need to because I can uh, trade here and then use the lethal to uh, ping that. That lets me put a uh, savage spawn here. I don't really want to trade your armor off with contract binding. All right, use the grenade to clear there. All right, we're down to four health. Question is, can I defend this? Let's go ahead and tap you, tap you, draw us a card. Your melee only. Your melee only. Well, we're just gonna have to hope he doesn't have a grenade to clear. Well, I guess he'd need more than a grenade, but he's got the Colt. Terror is something ludicrous. Could also just Annihilation and hope that works. We're, we're set up for lethal, though. I'd rather not, uh... Alright, he had the Colt. Do you have the grenade? Nope. So the mosquitoes are coming down. Who is here? Show yourself. And everybody getting a little bit insane. There's another Annihilation. Let's draw from this first. I'll grab Change of Color. We don't have tons of Terror. But I do have two creatures here to try to eat that. And nothing's opposing in another lane. Now has the grenade. But isn't set up on four. Alright, we've got lethal here. Let me just send this face, and we grab the Colt, give it to you, shoot that, and you go face for the victory. That was a nice close game. We didn't get a whole lot of fun with the Purple Beast yet again, but we got some. We got a fair bit of cards down. We corrected us on a kin, and we got a bunch of gold. So there we go. That's been Yogg Satha. If you've got other decks, feel free to let me know. We've got our Discord linked down below, or the Call of Myth Discord. We should ask them to get a uh, deck sharing channel out so that we can share our decks there, even if it's just screenshots. The deck I was running, I will pull up again here. 
There is the full deck. Still heavily weighted down toward the cheap, but I don't know. I think it's a pretty decent deck. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in my Discord. Best of vibes, and may you stay suitably sane.